Museums matter. They have the power to change lives. We offer a focal point for communities to celebrate shared identities while valuing difference. Our vision is to inspire everyone with the REF story, the people who shape it and its place in our lives. Personally, the RF Museum had a huge effect on me. I do remember going to Hendon uh, as a youngster and, and being wowed by the amount of uh, aeroplanes. And it was that time that I knew that I wanted to be a pilot. So uh, yeah, absolutely um, you know, a real part of why I'm here, still in the Royal Air Force 31 years later. 2022 has been a momentous year for the museum as we celebrate our 50th anniversary. The museum was officially opened by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II on the 15th of November 1972. And it was very fitting that in April this year, Her Late Majesty granted the museum a royal charter. Since January, we have welcomed over 730,000 visitors to our two sites, which is an 80% growth on visitor numbers from last year. And we will welcome significantly more visitors this financial year than any year before the REF centenary in 2018. Over 70,000 learners have engaged with our access and learning teams on site, online and through outreach. To celebrate our anniversary year, we took one of our Spitfires on tour across the Midlands, engaging with even more of our communities. We have continued to expand our collection, sharing the story of the Royal Air Force to engage, inspire and encourage learning. We welcome the highly decorated REF Chinook Bravo November to our Midlands site. Her Late Majesty donated His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh's RAF uniform. We are honoured to showcase it for our visitors, remembering our very supportive patron. And 50 works of art from our collection are on display within our latest art exhibition to celebrate our 50th anniversary. At the start of the year, we launched the RAF Museum Midlands Development Programme. This exciting programme will transform our museum and inspire everyone with the REF story. A new exhibition will focus on the critical role of the Royal Air Force over the past 40 years, inviting visitors to discover the REF role today and how it is adapting to the future. A new learning centre will provide bespoke facilities dedicated to the development and delivery of lifelong learning programmes. Our improved outdoor spaces, including a new woodland landscape, will provide space for learning, discovery and contemplation. The new collections hub will move our stored collection from off-site to a new facility, enabling us to care for and open up the collection like never before. We share the RAF's mission to become more environmentally sustainable. The building materials and technology we use will help us towards our commitment to become carbon net zero by 2030. As we look forward, the museum will continue to share the REF story. In May 2023, we open new Bomber Command exhibitions at both sites. In London, visitors will be invited to explore our iconic Lancaster for the first time through augmented reality as well as seeing the medals of squadron leader Benny Goodman of 617 Squadron, acquired earlier this year. At our Midlands site, our newly restored Wellington will also be unveiled, one of only two surviving examples. We will also open a new interwar years exhibition, bridging the story between the First World War and Second World War, a critical time for the Royal Air Force but we can achieve none of our ambitious plans in isolation. Help us to unlock the limitless potential of the RAF Museum in our local communities and beyond. <laughs>